Tip number one, sell blender cups and blender bases separately. You'll learn over time that blender cups sell faster and sell better than the bases. Sometimes I throw out the bases completely and just sell the cups. Don't be afraid to get boxes out of the dumpster. Just make sure they aren't wet and there's no damage and you can get the majority of your shipping boxes for free. If you have some smaller items, you can stack them in these sports cards boxes. You can get them on eBay or Amazon for pretty cheap. I do this with my sunglasses, with my remotes, and my cameras, and you can fit hundreds in a couple square feet. Don't be afraid to ship huge items. At one point, I had 100 receivers and about 80 subwoofers. Just make sure you have plenty of boxes and you learn about your shipping policies get a lot of bubble wrap and send these out for huge profits. If possible, if you have the space, try to separate your living area from your work area. My whole business is conducted within this small office, this listing station, and my garage. It's just nice to be able to keep, for me personally, to keep the wife happy, to make keep things organized, and to just kind of escape work or go to work and stay focused. Research keywords, things that are trending and cultural, pop culture um, events and things that are happening on around you every single day. It can be five minutes, 20 minutes, two hours, whatever you have time for. Continuous be learning, continuously be learning about what you're selling and what you can sell in the future for more profit. Products that aren't worth listing on their own can be worth it if there's 36 of them or 21 of them. Make sure you have good, accurate descriptions. Let people know, hey, these are some lower end products or they might not even work, but you can break even and even make a couple bucks on bad buys. If you have a bunch of product that isn't worth selling on its own, you can lot them up and sell them on eBay. When you're ready and when you can afford it, I really recommend getting some heavy duty shelves. These are Huskies. I can store so many items on them and there's no way they're gonna break or fall apart. I've seen too many videos, especially from shoe sellers, of their little plastic rails falling down on them. When you need to buy supplies for your business, it's better to do it immediately. But if, if you don't, make sure to write down the things you need because you can forget and you definitely don't want to get into a situation where you don't have enough products to get things shipped out on time. Number 10 is have fun and enjoy life. Don't do things that you hate. Have a good work-life balance and enjoy living life on eBay. You're amazing. Goodbye.